Estuaries are critically important ecosystems in coastal systems. Their fertile waters provide food, shelter, filtration, and protection for the organisms that live within them and the people that live along their shores. In the simplest terms, an estuary is an area where saltwater and freshwater meet. The Coastal Studies Institute and ECU Outer Banks Campus are located on Roanoke Island, which sits in the middle of the second largest estuary in the United States. Extending from Bogue Inlet in the south to the southern portion of Virginia Beach to the north, the Albemarle Pamlico estuarine systems includes nearly 10,000 miles of streams and rivers that empty into a two million acre estuarine system connected to the ocean through a series of inlets. This combination of fresh and salt water, otherwise known as brackish water, is home to a wide variety of aquatic and terrestrial life that call the estuary their home. The Albemarle Pamlico estuarine system is what divides the Outer Banks from mainland North Carolina. But more importantly, it plays an enormous role in the ecosystem around us. The Albemarle Pamlico estuarine system consists of many different habitats, including marshes, oyster reefs, sandy beaches, and grass flats. And each of these habitats provide for wildlife, such as plankton, birds, and fish. The estuary also plays an important economic role for the state of North Carolina. On a national level, estuaries are the nursery grounds for up to 75% of the seafood we catch. It is teeming with fish and shrimp targeted by the seafood industry, therefore providing food and jobs for North Carolinians. Because the Albemarle Pamlico is such an important ecological and economic resource, it is important we understand its system dynamics. Researchers at CSI are currently working to better understand important components, such as the relationship between people and the estuary, and how fish use the estuary throughout various life stages. Really a critically important aspect of estuaries is there are distinct types of habitat in estuaries that do not occur in the ocean. And different species rely on those habitats at different points in their life stage. One of the reasons why they rely on these habitats is because they're effective um, areas for foraging. So not only do they um, provide protection against larger predators, and we're talking about you know smaller juvenile fish and shrimp, but they provide lots of food to eat and allow them to grow, so that's critically important. So coastal estuaries are vibrant ecosystems, but they're also affected by the various pressures uh, that they face, both in terms of human development, but also climate change and sea level rise. And when we lose these ecosystems, we don't just lose the ecosystems, we also lose the benefits that they provide to us, including protecting us from coastal flooding, for instance, when there's a storm. There are things that each of us as individuals can do to help protect our estuaries, especially people who live close to these estuaries. One of them is to make sure that we reduce uh, the use of chemicals or other pollutants that might be entering these estuaries and damaging these ecosystems. Another is to make sure that we know about our wetlands and the estuaries close to us and by knowing about that about these ecosystems we can also help make sure that they stay in place and they stay healthy i would say the third thing we can do is to just go out see them visit them experience them for what they are and then hopefully we have a better appreciation of why we value them and why we should be working to save them The health of the estuarine ecosystem and the North Carolina economy are intrinsically tied together. So as a community, we must be good stewards of both to see either thrive. The work produced by CSI through research and education efforts helps our coastal community understand the importance of the Albemarle Pamlico estuarine system and therefore leaves us better prepared to take care of and use it responsibly.